WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks, to the 4 p.m. market update. My name is Jacob. Let's take a look at everything. We're closing sideways today. Russell did close down uh, 2%. The NQ's up marginally at uh, 0.12, but we're sideways on that. Uh, the Dow futures sideways at 0.55. The gold contract finishing almost down a percent at 1951. That's a big pull down from the beginning of September, and that's because of the dollar skyrocketing earlier. Silver, been lagging a little bit behind, but that got hit substantially today, about 2.76%. That's a silver contract. Uh, the copper contract sideways at 3.83. Um, this will be super interesting. Again, I, I love on the long term looking at copper as uh, we move towards these green technologies, uh, particularly lithium and copper are going to be in such massive demand. And uh, there's only so much, you know, there's a finite amount of, uh, you know, especially copper. So we'll see on the long term how that looks. There's some large private equity firms who are looking at investing uh, in copper on the long term, especially during um, some fears of recession and stuff like that. DXY uh, finishing at 104.80. And then we didn't talk about this, but United Airlines, all their flights were grounded due to uh, some, I guess, a glitch in their computer system, they say. Uh, but large volume down, just about 2.5%. Uh, Southwest suffered a similar thing earlier this year. I harp constantly on cybersecurity. They're saying this is a computer glitch and you have to kind of take the company at face value on it. Um, but, you know, it's important to look that a lot of this stuff can happen. Uh, certainly, in, I know this is kind of a random factoid, but it happened in Kazakhstan, I think about six months ago, and uh, their major airline got DOS uh, essentially, and uh, they had to ground all their flights as well. Meta closing just below 300 for the day, but still up 1.21%. Uh, I know we had some issues with the charts earlier, so I didn't get to get to everything I wanted to talk about. But I love talking about some kind of scientific discoveries uh, that are being published. Got about 30 seconds left. This is pretty fascinating. Uh, this is from Duke Health. It's antibodies that they developed in labs show promise for preventing organ rejection after transplantation. This is a man-made antibody successfully prevented an organ being rejected when tested, and this is in primates, and they did it with a kidney transplant. So we'll see if it covers over for humans, but if that's the case, that is a massive leap uh, in science achievement. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I may be with you tomorrow. I'm not sure. We'll see how that pans out, but I'll let you know early about that. Have a great evening, folks.